Hello there, welcome back. We've got another one today from... I'm trying to think where I got this from. I think it might have been my Brew Republic uh, delivery. Anyway, I'll put that in. It's Hobson's, that's the brewery, and it's called Shropstar. And that is a crisp pale ale. So what does it say on Untapped? So, Hobson's Brewery are in Shropshire, hence Shropstar in England. Style guide, style guide, pale ale English. Crisp pale ale brewed with mandarina, Bavaria and Hull melon hops. I've never heard of them before. Hoppy, bitter, fruity, thin, <laughs> earthy. Uh, so... That looks, and it's got it's got six hundred and ninety check-ins, an average of three point four rating. So let's see how it opens. That is a five hundred mil ball, I think. The usual branding uh, from Hobson's. Plenty of smoke coming out the, the top there. Well, it's poor and lovely. It's a really beautiful colour, like a golden pale amber. That's very nice. Alcohol is 4%, I think. Let's have a look at that. It's a 4% ABV. So that's nice uh, head, finger of white mousse like foam. Colour, there's a slight haze to it, and there's lots of carbonation going on there. Let's have a wee look to see. Oh, I'm getting a bit lemony there, a bit... What is that? Yeah, it's like a lemony... Not quite, like a maybe apple lemony. It's nice though, anyway, it's a lovely smell. Cheers, my dears. Mm. It's quite a bitter edge to that, but in a nice way. That's, it's not what I was expecting, <laughs> following the smell. There's a, not a, quite a harshness, but there's a, an edge to it, you know, there's, I don't know if I'm just, Describing that very well. My my vocabulary, my descriptive beer vocabulary is very limited. But, that'll come with experience, yeah. I think this is beer number 67, 68, something like that. It's beer 68. So that's... Uh... Right, so let's go with the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com so the style first of all it's a beautiful colour there's plenty of condescension on the glass but I can see the light through it it's a, there's a slight haze and there's probably a six of that and the clarity is slight haze the colour of foam head retention is good. The foam texture is quite fluffy. Carbonation, there's quite fast rising bubbles, I'm going to say. The aroma, alcohol. You know what? There's a malty sweetness, that's what I'm getting there. But the, as far as the alcohol, it's not detectable to mild. The hops, 
And I'm getting like a greeny, herbal, citrusy. The malt, there is a slight biscuity uh, aroma there. The esters, I don't know what that yeasty smell is. I'm going to say it's maybe banana or it's hard to tell. The phenol is probably, this one always gets me, I have no idea. How you, vanilla, it's always vanilla, if in doubt put vanilla. So the flavour and aftertaste, the alcohol, yeah it's mild. The hop flavour, it's piney, it's a bit citrusy. It's not really that fruity or floral. The hot bitterness, I'm going to say it's moderate to aggressive. It's not quite aggressive, but it's... The malt flavour, I'm going to say again, that biscuity. The malt sweetness is fairly low. The palate astringency... Yeah, I'm going to say medium for that. The body is quite drying. The palate carbonation, there's not a great deal, it's low to medium. The length is medium, up to 60 seconds. Uh, balance and drinkability, I will say desirable. The style, I'm going to say it's appropriate. What did they say? This is a crisp pale ale. Crisp indeed. It would certainly wake you up, that. So... We didn't see the bottle. My cup's already. Uh, a beer that shines bright. Sorry about that. Somebody sending me nonsense on Facebook Messenger. Uh, Shop star. A beer that shines bright. Everyone has someone to consider a star. Bravery, kindness, and a positive approach to life. Oh, well, they're not talking with me. Are often associated to the notion. Raise this beer to your star. This crisp pale ale delivers a fruity hit with the combination of Mandarina Bavaria. Mandarina, I wonder if that's like orange, let's see. And Huel Melon Hops. I don't know, I'm getting much melon, maybe. The finest ingredients uh, contains wheat and barley. Shropstar is a bottle conditioned beer. Pour carefully, contain sediment. Store upright, avoid direct on sunlight. Serve cool. Hey man, that's my cool impression. Is there anything more uncool than trying to be cool? No. So. Crisp pale ale. It's a nice, a nice uh, ball. The, the label, I don't know what that is, like a silky print. Simple. The signature bowler hat. Shrop star. The star in the A. Simple but effective. If I seen that on the shelf, I would be attracted to that. Nice colours, nice design. So, a rating. Yeah, I'm getting that maltiness now. The you know, there's a bit, there is a bit of a, 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 a harshness there. Maybe it is aggressive that uh, the hot bitterness. It's definitely got an edge to it. Crisp, they say. Crisp pale ale. I'm going to give that a six out of ten. Would I drink it again? I don't know, I don't think I would. I would... It would be pretty low down the queue if I was looking for pale ales. You know, it depends on the circumstances. This would be actually okay with certain, maybe, spicy foods. It was cut through that, you know. 
So maybe that's it's a, an, a, an ideal accompaniment to something like that. Yeah, I don't. It's not as low as a six. I don't think it's a seven. Six is unfair. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Hey! <laughs>